and Dr. Indu Khosla. I am the pediatric pulmonologist and a sleep specialist attached to the NHSRCC hospital in Mumbai. Today I am going to talk to you about sleep studies. We have children who have sleep disordered breathing, meaning thereby when they sleep, they have less oxygen going into their blood because of obstructed sleep. It could be because of as simple as tonsils or adenoids, obesity or certain other conditions where they have obstructed breathing. Now to confirm the diagnosis in these children, we do something called as a sleep study. It is a pro procedure which requires the child to stay overnight in the hospital. You can prepare your child by telling them that this is a painless procedure and there will be no injections whatsoever. The child when he is brought to the hospital should be definitely be mentally prepared for the sleep study. One parent will, is always allowed with the child during a sleep study and this study is done in the AEG lab at the SRCC hospital in Mumbai. Uh, when the child comes in, we encourage you to bring the child's favorite toys, his nightdress, his pajamas or anything that he likes to hold on to when the child sleeps so that the child can have a comfortable sleep. Two to three days prior to the sleep study, please ensure that your child has a healthy sleep hygiene that is sleeping on time and getting up on time so that he can come and sleep comfortably in the sleep lab. If your child is getting any kind of medications, please inform your doctor accordingly. You must wash your child's hair on the day of the sleep study because it helps us fix the electrodes on the child's scalp. When we, when we bring in a child in the sleep lab, we generally fix a lot of electrodes on the child's hair or on the head. We also fix electrodes on the rest of the body, the abdomen, the chest, the legs, uh, around the neck, uh, around the nose. And these are electrodes which help us stage the sleep, telling us how the child's sleep staging is. It also helps us measure oxygen in the child's blood, carbon dioxide in the child's blood. It also records the snore. By the chest and the abdomen belts, we can measure if the child has to, is taking effort to breathe or is not breathing at all. So, and we have electrodes on the legs which talks to us, which tells us about any abnormal movements in the legs that the child may have, which may disturb the child's sleep. So when the child sleeps through the night and a software on the computer records all this and a technician sits with the child through the night watching the child sleep and recording the child sleep. Based on this we can come to a conclusion if the child is having any problem while sleeping when this study is analyzed the subsequent day. I will show you a way, the way a child is, is hooked up to the sleep lab in my a subsequent video. Thank you. So this is our sleep lab at the SRCC Children's Hospital and this little girl here is undergoing a sleep study. She is already set up or hooked up to the lab and we, we will sh I, you can see these multiple small electrodes, these small electrodes on her scalp near her eyes and her chin. This tells me the stages of the sleep. This is all connected to a software on the computer and as she sleeps depending on her movements of the eyes, her chin and the electrodes from the brain we come to know what stage of sleep the child is in. There are two belts here, one on the chest and one on the thorax. This measures the effort of breathing or whether the child is breathing or stopping to breathe. Both of them, I have sensors which pick up the effort of breathing which is again connected to the main machine here which is the lab. The lab. Uh, apart from that we measure oxygen which is measured by a pulse oximeter here. You see two cannulas on the nose, one measures the carbon dioxide. Uh, with the child's blood levels of carbon dioxide and this also tells us how amount the flow of air, of air whether the flow of air is adequate or it is less as it is going into the child's nose and that corroborates with the oxygen level so flow, oxygen level, carbon dioxide level and the efforts of movement of the chest and the abdomen tells us if the child has a problem in breathing during sleeping we also have some electrodes here and these electrodes tell, look at the leg movements uh, the leg movements in sleep, whether that is disturbing the child's sleep. Below her shirt here inside, we have the ECG electrodes which measure the cardiac activity uh, throughout the child's sleep. So, this whole setup, the child sleep with it, sleeps with it, it's connected to a software outside. We have also a camera here which records, which video records the child. So, we corroborate all that information, it's all computed on the software and we come to know how the child's sleep was. Thank you.